Right. Um, what I've got is I'll, I've got a, a detector here that's basically it's a, a detector you can fit on any system. But I, I picked this one because it's quite good at highlighting positive and negative, which you would have on the old detectors. You would have the alarm wires in here and you'd have the tamper. Now, I said um, on my previous video, what do you do? Let's get a closer image if I can get it stabilised. It will eventually go. Let's have a look on there, see if it picks up that properly. Right, so forget data because um, this, this detector can go on a uh, HKC system and it can be picked up uh, just on the one wire. Uh, but for the... The benefit of the purpose of this video is it looks almost like an old detector. Um, if I wanted to use this as a new detector, down on the side there, there's a row of resistor jumpers that I can convert the output of these two detectors, these two um, alarm loops, tamper and alarm. Right, so I'm going to put some resistors in to show you what I meant on my last video. If this didn't have the resistors here, you could still convert this to go into a new panel. I'm going to do that now and show you the resistors. Right, I'm back. Right. So on the old system, you would have six wires going into a detector. You've changed the control panel and you've got old detectors. Forget these resistors down here. I'm just trying to assume that this is an old detector. And that would basically be the layout. If you get data, that wouldn't be on an old detector. You'd have positive, negative, alarm, loop, and tamper loop. So on my last video, I said you could use put the resistors in to make them comply with the new um, type alarm panels. So on the new alarm panels, you would still have positive and negative, supplying power to the detectors. You would bring one wire all the way back from the alarm panel. So all the way around, in through the back of the detector, usually through one of these holes here. Right, so your four core or your six core comes in. You would wire one cable, one wire to the open side of this tamper. I'm just moving that out of the way, sorry. Into there. When the lid goes on, it puts a short against that tamper. Then let's power come all the way through this resistor. Forget what the resistors are, it doesn't matter, it's a resistor. All the way down into the alarm. Then, if the alarm is open circuit picking up something, the power wouldn't be able to go across that switch there because it would be open circuit. It would then go round. I've left these deliberately long so you can see them. This would go round the resistor. Uh, into the wire next to it and then back to the panel so it would add these two resistors in series and give you a value of both of them because they're in series let's say um rt which is the resistance total in series equals r1 plus r2 so let's say for instance this was 2k i know it's not 2k if this was 2k and that was 2k if that detector was open circuit it would see a total of 4k across there if the tamper lid was took off there would be no circuit across here so it would go open circuit so it would see infinite resistance or no res or i.e no resistance at all so that's basically how these detectors work 